Hi, I'm Morgan, and this is a very unofficial travel guide to visiting the Dead Sea. I'm here in Israel on the coast of the Dead Sea, the lowest point on Earth, and uh, yeah, it's it's quite an experience. I was in Jerusalem all afternoon, and our tour guide took us out here to the Dead Sea now to do some swimming. As I'm sure you know if you're watching this video, the salt and mineral content in the Dead Sea is so high that nothing can live in it, and you cannot sink in it because your body is not, uh, or because the water is denser than the water in your body. So I'm about to go inside and check it out, and I'll let you know how it feels. We arrived in Israel in the port of Ashdod on the gigantic mariner of the seas, and our tour guide picked us up directly from the jetty. We stayed away from the official excursions offered on board and hired a private tour guide from Bain Harim Tours, and I can't imagine doing it any other way. You can personalize your excursion to concentrate on exactly what you want to see, and if you get seven people together to split the cost, it's way less than the ship excursions. Another good reason to go with some kind of organized tour is because Israel, as fascinating as it is, still has some kind of creepy areas which are controlled by people carrying machine guns, and I just don't know what I would do if there was a problem and one of them started arguing with me or something. Anyways, the ride to the Dead Sea from the coast is about two hours and once there, there are a few sort of modern beach clubs for tourists which have changing room showers and small restaurants. Unfortunately, I can't remember the name of the beach we went to or how much it cost to get in, but your tour guide will know where to go. Alright, so here we go, swimming in the Dead Sea. My first impression is the water is cold and the ground is slimy. But, uh, yeah, here we go. They say that you're supposed to walk in until you can squat and then try to lay down because the feeling is so different than being in normal water that uh, you might get excited and uh, what you definitely don't want to do is get this water in your eyes or swallow it. Like, my butt is not on the bottom right now. Like, I'm, I'm like floating. Basically on top of the water. It's really weird. Do you see this? This is crazy. My mom, who can't swim at all, she would be fine here because there's absolutely no way to, to sink. My feet are not on the bottom right now. Oh, they are. Cool. So the guide told us that after you've been swimming for 15 minutes, then you should find the muddy parts, which is basically all over, and then rub your full, your whole body, except for your face and head, full of mud. So here we go. It's like being a kid again and playing in the mud. Did I get everything? Yeah, I mean, it feels like rubbing yourself with mud, but it's supposed to be amazing for your skin. And now you're supposed to go sit on the beach and let it dry. And that's where my camera stopped working for the day. The only thing I miss showing you is how the dried up mud gets all cracky before rinsing it off. And I have to say, it is good for your skin. Thanks for watching. I'm Morgan, and this was another very unofficial travel guide.